the insecure Duchess of Rudeness. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you everyone for liking and subscribing and hi to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you all. I've got the Polk Tarot on the table and I'm going to do a reading about a naughty little girl that was allowed out to play in front of the cameras and that would be called the, according to uh, Down Under Media, um the insecure duchess of rudeness <laughs> i had to laugh i thought how out how out um yeah yeah there was some um, very very awkward pictures everywhere um you know people of course people are going to pick on her hair and you know her wig well as lady c says she paid for it so you know it's hers she's entitled to wear it um and there's also uh, her dress, well, you know, her BFF wore it first, so, you know, big deal. Um, looked a lot better on the model, than, to be perfectly honest, but then that doesn't surprise me. Um, so, you know, what I'm looking at here is the rudeness towards the uh, Dr. Sophie, the head of the trustee of the polo uh, charity who is ironically all to do about uh, with Africa and um, yeah yeah so much for African parts um, and her pushing him out of the way when Nacho came and love bombing which I think I might do another reading about too because I also noticed how Harry acted with him um, so yeah, let's just let's just find out the energies around winning, but not winning at all. Okay, cards. I would like to find out the energies, please. The energies around the insecure Duchess of Rudeness, uh, Meghan Markle, on her latest escapade with the uh, Netflix crew, I believe, or her own crew, or whatever. In the polar match uh, when she was uh, uh, front and centre, is she actually taking it over like Invictus? Is Meghan Markle taking over Centre Bali, I think that's how you pronounce it, charity, or the polo like she's doing with Invictus? Is that her next thing? Because, you know, at the end of the day, Harry doesn't have much. Mm, nine of wands i think she might be harry doesn't have much as i was saying i mean you know he was given center barley and um invictus and better up and travelers and african parts but uh yeah i have a feeling i have a feeling that uh this is the next charity of his that she's going to completely dominate because it just it just reminded me of Invictus all over again all over again so cards what's the story behind the insecure Duchess of Rudeness and the Polo charity oh wow seven of cups seven seven deadly sins reverse Page of Pentacles reverse, <laughs> Temperance reverse, the Fool upright, and the Queen of Wands. Oh, <laughs> well, there she is there, and uh, yeah, she needs that massive therapist. She, you know, if she's got a therapist, she needs to change her because she's not doing too well at all. She can't heal, she can't blend. She's trying to sell something, definitely trying to sell herself. Sure, we're talking jams. I'm leaving that as another fun reading. This one's about uh, her taking over the, the polo, uh, like Invictus. So, uh, yeah, she, she wants, she's taking a leap of faith. And, uh, yeah, mm, look what I've got. Look what I can do. And even upright with this card, I mean, you know, hmm. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, the truth's come out. The truth's definitely come out. No more gaslighting and smoke screens and everything. The world's awake to, to this one. 
This one's wife, the world is awake to her. Oh, look at that. Another page on top of her. Another message. She's putting things into action. She's all go, go, go. Uh, ten, ten of swords. Well, she is. She's wrong. She's definitely wrong with the ten of swords. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know how she can take that leap of faith with her head up high like this one is, um, like this card is showing, and, you know, be temperance reverse and, and then pull the Ten of Swords. She knows. She knows. She's, she's yeah, she definitely knows um, that she's ruined. And, uh, yeah, it's dark times. It's definitely dark times. Oh, Queen of Cups. Oh, I hope she's not going to pull that one again. She's going to drag up Diana again very, very soon. If she hasn't already. And you've got the tower. Or when she pulls up Diana again, she's not going to be successful at all on the merging side of things. And uh, she's going to probably be told, probably be told to give it a rest with the four of, of swords washing through because there's a tarot moment here. So her little world or her little empire or the tower, uh, as she knows it, it's going to come crashing down and it's going to hurt. It's definitely going to hurt. It's going to hurt her pocket. All this money she's trying to merge is actually going to come crumbling down with the tower and she's going to be told. She's going to be told, give it a rest. I have a horrible feeling she's going to bring up Diana again to save her herself because she knows that this little enterprise here people like us can see through it you know uh, we're aware of what she's doing and she's aware that we are aware there was even a picture of her sitting there next to um one of nacho's uh, kids um where she's uh, going through the phone so but then she keeps saying that she doesn't go on the internet. So I wonder why she spent so long on the phone then if she doesn't go on the internet. Mm. All right. Okay. So on the next one, you've got the Ace of Cups. You've got the Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups reverse, Eight of Pentacles uh, upright, Three of Pentacles upright, King of Cups upright, and the Six of Wands reverse. So there's no victory or celebration. None whatsoever, technically a non-event, you could even say. Um, I do believe that it was all staged or it was all PR and, you know, merching, merching, merching um, because you've got the uh, Three of Pentacles here working, working together on a plan, trying to paint a nice little picture of something, trying to, you know, working very, very hard at trying to paint a picture of someone, an illusion. Uh, lots of tears, lots of tears. I'd say that would be behind the scenes, definitely behind the scenes, um, despite the fact that, you know, she was she was doing something with Nacho's wife. Or, you know, the, the cameras are there. They, they know, they, you know, they know. They know, so, um, you know, yeah. Now, King of Cups. I don't have, I don't have Nanto's birthday. So it could be the, it could be him. It could be him because it's someone that was very, very rich, uh, very, very secure, very, very loving. Um, this could be him. Or it could even be Charles. It could even be Charles because I know she's in competition with that jam. So, like I said, I will do a, another reading on that. Um, five, there's that Five of Swords again. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. You've got the Two of Wands, the Moon. And the Nine of Swords. When the Nine of Swords are reversed, they've either dealt with whatever illusions and smokescreen uh, or, or deceptions and lies um, 
you know, being betrayed. Uh, but when you pull something on the first line like temperance, they've got to the stage where they don't care anymore. So they haven't fixed the problem. They just don't care. You know, they don't care how, despite the fact that there's lots of tears, they're portraying that they don't care kind of thing. And that would explain um, her mannerisms, you could say, you know, of of the mask slipping and um, or not, not able to control, which would be more temperance reverse, you know, we're pushing, you know, ju just to think that you could actually push someone like that, you know, and it's not the first time she's done that either, so, yeah. Um, whatever it's been offering is is not it's not forthcoming. It's not forthcoming at all. I don't think there's going to be a lot of money involved here. Like I said, I believe it was staged. There was only about three hundred people. Um, and and yeah, it's um, it was all for the cameras. It was all you know. Th there's even there's even a camera here. There's even a camera here if you can see it there, you know, it's all Im illusions and smoke screens and, and yeah, she's completely taken over, completely taken over. Some sort of, uh, with death, uh, transition with death, three of ones reverse, queen of pentacles, seven of pentacles and the A, so it's all BS. Absolutely BS what we're seeing. Absolutely. It's all for the cameras. You've got uh, money here. Uh, they're dropping money. Uh, left, right and centre. She's, uh, okay, Queen of Pentacles. Again, I'm not too sure. Um, I don't think Dory is involved. But, uh, you know, you never know. You never know. I mean, she comes up, she surfaces, and then she's in hiding again. So you just, you just never, never know. Um, but at the end of the day, whoever it is, is, um, yeah, offering something and, and, uh, is supposed to be a home mother. Um, but yeah, the, it, it, it's not working out. It's definitely not working out because whatever was being offered, it never came in the transition, the, um, you know, trying to get out there and, and, you know, look, I'm on the head of, of the polo match now, um, yeah whatever whatever was happening yeah this one's wife this one's wife's trying to paint trying to paint a picture that uh is all illusions and smoke screens and delusions and deceptions and bs and bs so it's all for the camera it's all for the camera the question was the question was, is she taking over like Invictus? Um, because of the top, you got two negatives, uh, sorry, three negatives and two positives. The cards are technically saying no, but the type of cards that have come out, which is why I continued, is because you've got the truth is going to come out or all the gaslighting and the smoke screens are being revealed of what she is actually, what she is doing. And she can't balance and, and you know, even play nicely. So, mm, hardcore, hardcore. I mean, you've got a positive here. Here she is here wanting to take a new leap. And then this is this is the outcome here, you know. Interesting, but it's definitely going to be a tower moment. And there's money involved, all money. But uh, I think the winning card in this reading is this one here. Is this one here with the camera and the moon? It's all illusions and deceptions, and followed closely behind. Follow closely behind with a transition that they wanted. Mm. 
to paint a picture to paint a picture but they will fail if she brings up Princess Diana again with the tower I think they're the most prominent prominent cards of this reading if they bring up the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups is Diana yeah yeah not good not good not good mm. interesting isn't it very interesting okay let me know uh, what you thought um this uh i need to go and smash these now because you know when i have her energy on it it's very very toxic entertainment purposes only so uh yeah i'll go and do that and then i'll do another reading so in the meantime please like and subscribe and i'll see you again soon bye <laughs>